Hi everyone, it's Chef Doreen here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to share this delicious light salad for you guys to enjoy anytime. So, how am I gonna make it? I'm gonna be using my Aloha Shoyu Panzu sauce. So wonderful, it's got that beautiful citrusy um, element inside, which is coming from the yuzu, but this is gonna make a wonderful salad dressing, okay? So I'm gonna do the Aloha Shoyu Panzu, which I'm going to make with a little bit of just canola oil, you can use vegetable oil, but don't use an oil that has a lot of flavor, okay? You're gonna add a little bit of Dijon mustard, we're gonna use some garlic and shallots, and if you don't have shallots, just, just use some red onion, that's fine too. I'm also going to be using a little bit of salt and pepper in there, and for the rest of the salad, I'm going to also add some sweet tomatoes, and I say sweet because the ponzu just has a little bit of saltiness to it, and it's just going to balance that out. So I have some juicy uh, and sweet blackberries, really important. I have some feta, and I got some red onions, of course, because onions are so important to me, and I used a hot, honey cashew, which is delicious. I like it a little bit spicy, but if you don't like it spicy, you can just use a hun uh, like a roasted uh, cashew or a honey roasted cashew, and that'll work perfectly. And of course, avocado for creaminess. Last thing, garlic shrimp. All right, so since everybody wants just a little bit of protein sometimes, I actually marinated some shrimp in just oil and garlic. I didn't add any salt or anything citrusy to it yet because I don't want to start cooking, so that's really important. So I just kept it very simple, and right before I'm about to throw it on the grill, or on, you can saute that, add a little bit of salt for seasoning. I've already put a little salt in my, um, on my shrimp, actually, not in it, but on my shrimp. And you can grill this outside, or you can do it inside the house on a little grill pan. Or look, if you just wanna saute it, saute it for crying out loud. There's no right or wrong. Just keeping it really simple and easy. All right, I'm gonna throw my shrimp on here. And like I said, I did, what I did was I actually grated the garlic. So, but whatever is convenient for you, grate the garlic, chop the garlic. I just added a little bit of um, canola oil, and again, I like to use oils that aren't um, heavily flavored, but if you have like a light olive oil and you're okay with that, go for it. Okay, there's really no right and wrong. And shrimp cook very, very quickly. And you wanna make sure it stays tender. So just keep an eye on it. So I did it in rows, so I know exactly which shrimp I'm gonna be turning first, okay? That makes it much easier for you. I know, and if you really like those grill marks, don't move it like I moved it, all right? All right, nobody's criticizing this, okay? All right. So I'm letting it cook. And the reason why I like to grate my garlic is because I like the flavor of the gar garlic to really come out. And it kind of, you know, just goes everywhere versus when I just chop it, okay? All right, take a peek. I know it's gonna take a minute, but. Yeah, see, not done, but I've got a little grill mark going. All right, so this is just gonna take a few minutes. Now, you never wanna overcook your shrimp, okay? Because it becomes hard and rubbery and nobody likes hard, rubbery shrimp. All right, let that cook. And a lot of times when I'm cooking the shrimp, I'm watching it as it's cooking up, okay? So I can see that the it's not as opaque and it starts to turn white. So that's a good indicator for you too that your shrimp is starting to cook. All right. Now, if you have different size shrimp, and even though I put it in a certain order, if your smaller shrimp are starting to cook faster, then turn those first, okay? All right, you can see that beautiful grill mark on some of these already. And yes, turn on your fan. Turn on your fan if it's smoking. Yes, we don't want the fire alarm to go off. Look at that. All right, these look beautiful. Yes, I know, out of order. I saw that, but that one's a big fatty, that's why. These are gonna be so delicious on your salad. Oh, that one's just a little more. All right. If you can see the shrimp cooking through the smoke, good for you. <laughs> All right. The fan is going, the shrimp is going. So this is why sometimes grilling outside is probably easier. <laughs> All right, so whenever I'm cooking, whether it's meat, chicken, shrimp, I like to actually touch it with my tong 
for me, it's all about feeling as well as like looking at the shrimp. So I can see that looks really nice to me and it has nice firmness. So I'm not going to overcook that. Okay. Same with these little ones. I'm going to start pulling these off. These look really great. Hear all that popping going on. That one can take a little more. All right, taking off the shrimp from the pan. These look delicious. And I just love that grill, that grill flavor. So this is going to really add to the, to the salad. All right. Okay, we're all done. All right, look how good those look. Mm. All right, so let's make this ponce vinaigrette. Super easy. I have a little bit of Dijon mustard. I don't put too much because I want I don't want the flavor of the Dijon to come out super strong. I have a little bit of garlic, which I minced, and I have some shallots. And like I said, you can use red onions if you want to, if you don't have shallots, okay? Not a big deal. Now, I, um, I like to first add my ponzu in and I mix it all up. So I want the, I really want the Dijon to be mixed up, okay? And I want that to go in so it's not a clump. And why, why do we use Dijon mustard? It really helps to emulsify your vinaigrette. What does emulsify mean? It means to try to get your vinegar or your, um, not your acid to mix with your oil, okay? So depending on how you like it, I, I kind of like my acid flavor to be stronger than the oil, okay? But I want everyone, whenever you're making it, just test it for yourself. Don't add too much oil in the beginning. Just add what you feel, like, like half, right? I usually do, um, in, in fact, for this recipe, I did half a cup of ponzu, and I did less than half of a cup of oil. But again, taste it. If it feels like you can add more ponzu, like I'm looking at it and I can see, hey, it looks like it's a little bit more heavy on the oil side. I'll just add a little bit more ponzu to it. That's it, okay? And I would taste it, of course. Since I'm gonna be eating it, I'm gonna dip my finger in. But if you're making it for everybody else, use a spoon, okay? Mm, I like that. All right, so I've already made it here and you can see, so when I'm talking about emulsification, you can see that there's just a tiny layer of oil, but it's not oily looking and it's not completely separate. So that's what emulsification is and that's why it's important to have just a little bit of mustard. And if you don't have Dijon, just use yellow mustard. It's okay, right? You just don't wanna taste it. All right, let's assemble our salad. Now, I am using romaine, but you can use whatever lettuce you like. I like romaine because it's nice and crunchy and crisp, but if you wanna use uh, spring mix, spinach, whatever you want, okay? But just a beautiful light salad. I think it's great, you can enjoy. Everyone will enjoy it. My hands are clean, so I'm gonna touch all the food. All right, how am I going to do this? I love red onions, and I cut them a little bit thinner, just because, I don't know about you, I don't like it when I'm biting on a big, heavy piece of onion, and having it nice and thin, I think is just a better way to enjoy that. Now I have the tomatoes. You can leave them whole or not, but like I said, get some nice sweet tomatoes. That's really gonna make the difference, okay? I love that bursting in your mouth. Just throw that one in there. I have plump, ripe blackberries. Now, how can you tell when they're plump or if they're really tart? Or how can you tell if they're ripe is what I mean, not plump. Um, when I look at blackberries, I actually see how fat each of these little berries is and you can see it. So when you see a tight, like a little tiny blackberry, it's actually pretty tart. So look for the big fatties and you can put them in whole or you can actually cut them in half, okay? So we're just gonna put them on whole because it's just so pretty and I love this. All right, now feta crumbled. This adds a beautiful, beautiful like creaminess to it. Okay, this is so delicious. I wish you guys could taste it right now from my house, but you'll just have to make it yourself. All right, and I love avocado. I've already cut them myself, so I put them into little squares, and I've actually, I put some lemon juice on it, all right? Why? To prevent it from turning brown, 
Okay, so I think this is so beautiful like this. You can cut it however you want to, but I cut them in little cubes and squares, so it's just easy for everybody to eat. All right, and of course, I have my cashews. Why cashews? Oh my gosh, when you eat it, you're gonna taste it. Like the little bit of spice, it's not too much. The sweetness paired with the, with the ponzu, it's perfect, okay? This is so delicious. And before I serve a salad, I always add a little salt and pepper just because your avocados don't have any seasoning and neither does your like tomatoes and whatnot, but this is just such a beautiful salad. Now let's go ahead and put on the shrimp. All right, I'm gonna use this. I know I've been using my hands for everything else, but still. This is such a great salad to share with your friends, they're coming over, or just eat it by yourself. This is so yummy. All right. I think this is ready. And there you go. This is the perfect salad to enjoy with our ponzu vinaigrette. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much.